And we say good morning to John Fischetti. Good morning, John. How are you? Hey, good morning. I'm good. Thank it's, you. It's How been, are you? Very well. It's been a while between drinks for us. I know. You do a different shift usually. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, today talk about well, senioritis and sort of students who have got these early offers and they've gone, oh, I've got the early offer. Why bother now? Essentially. Yeah, all around the country and theoretically all around the world, there's a concept, you know, year 12 in other places called the senior year, the senior years. What if you already were admitted to university or to TAFE before the HSC even came up and you knew you got your preference and you were fine? How yep. seriously would you have taken the exams? And for the last couple of years, universities have actually done these things called early admissions, early offers. And it's meant most students actually exactly today know where they're going to go and what they're going to study. So they kind of, okay, well, I've, I know what I want. I've got it. It's kind of, just, so there's a lot of students just going, okay, well, I can just cruise up a little bit and not go as hard and, yep. and thinking, well, I've got this in, so why should I have to right, keep and working hard? There's a number of students who said they always want to do their best on everything and just kept going to, to the point of crashing. <laughs> yep. But psychologically, the tendency is to take your foot off the pedal, and I think that's what many did. I hung around with a whole room full of Year 12 students who have just graduated just this past Saturday night. And in doing so, I sort of did an informal poll. And many of them now have gotten that little senioritis where you get a little lazy, you get a little like, I got nothing I got to do for the next few yeah. weeks. Is it that parents, carers, neighbors, friends can re-motivate? And are there two or three options to get the groove back? Because if you get in bad habits as a learner, you actually could end up starting next your next thing kind of like behind, like yep. an athlete who stops training for a big event and then loses that being in shape. Yep. Well, like especially because well, university is a lot harder than year 12. So you've got to kind of keep yourself, oh, yeah, as you said, just in shape, I guess. Yeah, and the intellectual intrinsic motivation to guide yourself can be lost because those who do well have to want to do well and they have to study. And in university, nobody's really looking over your shoulder like a teacher in year 10 or 11 might have been doing. Come on, you can do it. Yep. And so what I really like to recommend is that there are some what we call bridging courses here you may have heard of. Those are like two-week online free courses. Mm -hmm. Let's say you didn't take the math as seriously or the chemistry as seriously or the writing in your English exam. You had to sit the year 12 English, but what if you just mailed it in? Yep. You might want to do those. Over summer, you might have some evening time. You want to get going. That'd be one thing you could do which would help you get your groove back on. At the University of Newcastle, we have those. The other, there's a lot of things called MOOCs, those massive online courses out there at servers like edX that are free. You could do an accounting course or a history course or a writing course now. Just go register. Yep. And you don't have to pay to do the assessment. You could just do the free part right. where you rock up and do yeah. something. Keep your mind going. So it keeps you in the good habits as well. and Yeah, and possibly pick yourself up on what you didn't know. The third thing is, if you get the course outlined for the course you might be taking in February, if you're taking an ancient history course, you know what you might be having to do in the first few weeks? Like, read things called books. <laughs> and if you haven't been reading things called books for a couple of years because you avoided that and yeah. you didn't study hard for the exam, which required you needed to read some more, you could read the first couple books in the course outline and be a couple weeks ahead. What else are you going to do? you just be on Instagram yeah, anyway. Sure, yeah. So <laughs> I think that strategy could be really helpful. And some parents could encourage folks, and maybe it's a, instead of um, all the screen time, or even if it's on an, you know, a digital application with the book on it, get yourself going and getting in the groove. Because I worry that this generation now lost about two years of formal schooling done, whatever properly yep. means. We were faking it there yep. for a while, I got to tell you. And now they've kind of maybe like lost their energy or mojo. We got to get it back because we can't afford to have you fail. Mm -hmm. Australia needs everyone going forward post-secondary to be well-trained, well-qualified so we can have the, a great life in the future. And I'd hate for these folks to be disappointed, accumulate hex debt over failing courses just because they got a little lazy. Yeah, I can probably actually can vouch for that in my time at university. <laughs> so. <laughs> so that's a, a good thing as well is just to sort of, if you've got a subject that you've, you're in, Maybe just start even just looking at it a bit more and, and sort of getting yourself ready for it. And Particularly if, like, say it involves some statistics and you, yeah. ha you had, might have had some year nine or ten, get yourself in and do a practice course. There's plenty of that out there. And just get, your, get yourself ready so all those bases, basics are ready. we still got some time for this, but I worry th people are thinking they've got the gold ring, but it's a mirage because the gold ring comes at the end when you get the career you want, the yeah. life you want. These are just stepping stones yeah. to it. John Fischetti, thank you very much. Yep, thanks. We'll talk to you again next time. Yep, have a great day. To NURFM, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle.